हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर दीपक गर्ग आई एम डायरेक्टर एंड हेड ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जरी एट आहान हेल्थ केयर रोहिणी न्यू डेली एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस पोस्टीरियर अप्रोच टू सॉफ्ट ह्यूमरस सो इन द पोस्टीरियर अप्रोच वी विल कीप द पेशेंट इन लैटरल पोजिशन वी विल कीप द आर्म इन नाइंटी डिग्री ऑफ द अबडक्शन and usually uh, we will not use the tourniquet because because it will come on the way and if if you want to work distally sometimes we can use the tourniquet also then we will uh, mark our skin incision uh, this is a longitudinal incision in the midline of the posterior aspect of the arm and we start from 8 cm below the acromion and we will go till the olecranon fossa so we will mark the skin incision then we will take the skin incision and we will cut the subcute in line with the skin incision uh, we will incise the deep fascia in line with the skin incision so we will expose the triceps muscle uh, once we will uh, cut the deep fascia so let's understand the anatomy of the triceps triceps muscle has three heads one is a lateral head one is a long head and one is a medial head so uh, as we can see uh, from the diagram here lateral head arises uh, from the soft humerus itself it arises from the lateral lip of the spiral groove so it arises from above the level of spiral groove and the in the spiral groove there are radial nerve and the profunda brachii vessels that are running in the spiral groove they are going from medial to lateral on the posterior aspect and through the spiral groove so the medial head again arises from the soft humerus itself it arises from the whole length of the soft humerus or uh, the posterior aspect distal 1/4 and it arises from below the spiral groove so the lateral head is arising from the soft humerus above the level of the spiral groove and the medial head is arising from below the spiral groove and there are vessels and the nerve in the spiral groove so we need to understand that we need to find the gap between the two muscles so we can identify the nerves and we can separate the nerves so whereas the uh, long head will arise from the infraglenoid tubercle as we can see uh, from here so it is arising from the infraglenoid tubercle so uh roughly we we should know that we need to identify the gap between the lateral head and the medial head so once we incise the deep uh, fascia we uh, expose the triceps muscle now we need to identify where the two heads the lateral head and the long long head are fusing because in this approach our main goal is to first identify and separate the radial nerve and the profunda brachii vessels so we will have to identify the gap so for that we will start from the proximal we will not start from the distal we will start from the proximal we first identify the point of confluence where the two heads are meeting and we will start from above the point of confluence and we will go proximally and we will identify the nerve first so as we will cut uh, or separate the long head and the lateral head so we will uh, keep on going on the proximal aspect till we identify the gap between the long head and the medial head and we identify the vessels in this way we may have multiple small vessels that will come in between that we will may have to identify and coagulate so let's understand the anatomy just below the long and the lateral head so as we can see from here uh, this is this muscle above is a lateral head and this is arising above the spiral groove and this is the spiral groove we can see that the vessels and the nerve is passing through the spiral groove and below that is a medial head so we can see that this is a medial head this is arising from all along the length below the spiral groove so we have to identify this interval we have to separate these nerves and this is the long head we can easily separate this so once we identify the vessel and the nerve we retract the vessel and the nerve so then we take a midline incision through the medial head of the triceps and once we do that we expose the periosteum we incise the periosteum 
and then we separate the muscle sub periosteally through the periosteum and we this is the working space so we have exposed the bone and we can fix the fracture and uh, apply the plate so uh, we need to work in this plane only because the ulna nerve is going from anterior to posterior on the medial side so if we will not work in this plane or in this space we can injury we can cause injury to the ulna nerve so this was about the posterior approach to the soft humerus so for more such videos please like share and subscribe to our channel thank you guys thank you very much